What's going on folks and welcome back to another scum video. I hope you're all doing well today. Something a little bit different. I want to show you guys an advanced guide for noobs, so to speak. Now we are on single player, so I don't want to keep reiterating that. We don't have to worry about players. If we were going to be doing this on a multiplayer server, I would be rating this completely different. Now, there, I didn't realize how big the single player community is uh, with scum, etc. So we're going to we're gonna go and raid this with nothing but a 25 pound bow and some wooden arrows. Um, and I'm going to show you how I would do this on single player. Now, there is a lot of confidence involved obviously you've probably got used to scum by now at some point if you are finding these videos you're probably just a little bit curious on what else you can sort of do out there now i am at a bunker right now and we've got to watch out for the mech that's the first thing we do not want to set the mech off sometimes that can't be helped now while the mech is looking away we're going to run inside now there is a reason why i'm using the bow do not run in with melee ladies and gents you can have a backup melee if you like in this guide i'm not going to be doing that at all um I'm just going to be using a bow for this. Now, if you can, try and collect your arrows after because you will need them. Now, like I was saying, sploders are going to be the hardest to look out for. Now, I'm going to go into third person here just so I can see where the mech is. Now, the mech's going to be walking away. I'm going to make my way over. But again, sploders are going to be my biggest issue here. So, that mech's going to stop there. We're going to jump straight in. Let's jump straight up. Right, we're now in the bunker. Mech's over there looking away. We're going to close the door just in case there's any sploders. That is our biggest threat right now, is the sploders. Now you can hear puppets galore. There's going to be a lot of puppets in here. Now this is a juggernaut puppet here. They take three arrows to the face. There you go. That's already down. Now what we're going to do... See, if you wait around too long, sometimes it can be quite detrimental to how you're going to actually get this done. So you need to be very, very aware of your surroundings and very aware if you can hear any sploders as well so we're going to go straight over to this side i'm going to run straight through see if there's any puppets here all we need to do is eliminate before we can actually start looting etc so there shouldn't be any issues at all let's go down here and have a look see if there's any more puppets down here and then we're going to go back upstairs and have a quick look as well Again, like I said, I didn't want to re keep reiterating it. We're not on multiplayer, ladies and gents. This is how I would raid a bunker in single player. So it's just the puppets that we really have the threats of. Um, I'm going to keep tabbing, checking my arrows in my quiver on the left-hand side. Okay, let's go and have a look. This side here. Let's see what we can find. We're going to go upstairs. We're going to have a look. Now, you know when you start eliminating these because uh, it will start getting very quiet as well. So we've got another Juggernaut here. That's going to take a few more arrows because I'm not hitting directly in the face. That took like five or whatever it was there. I'm just going to search this one because I need to get them arrows back. I'm on 12 right now. And we're just going to take them back. And we've got some puppets above us as well, so we haven't got to worry too much about them because we have the overground puppets and we've got the internal puppets as well. Right, so... A puppet there. It's pretty incredible what you can do with just a 25 pound bow and the amount of loot that you're going to get away with uh, in this bunker as well. Surprised we haven't actually had any sploders yet. Now, you can stop and check all this stuff, so you can loot up as you go along. I'm just going to show you guys just what I can do with the bow for now. Obviously if we can, uh, we'll have to search as well because sometimes you do have to search to get your arrows back. Not every time. It's not It's not something you always have to do. But just keep your ears peeled because you will be hearing um, puppets around as well. So you want to make sure that there's none sneaking behind you. Or sometimes what happens is they get caught behind the doors like this. So just make sure you have a look. Uh, we've got an armory here. We've got some stuff in there. Obviously, we're not going to search that right now. Sometimes you get puppets in the bathrooms as well. Now, if you don't want the puppets uh, to, to attack you again, just make sure that you keep the doors closed. I'm not going to bother doing that right now because I'm showing you guys in a guide. Um, so I don't want it to be sort of too long, so to speak. There's a puppet there we searched. And here we go. Here's another one now. Oh, missed. Now, if you have like a, a recurve bow or a compound bow, this is going to make life a lot easier. So you don't necessarily, you know, you won't necessarily get into this area with nothing. You're going to have something by the time you get here. A spear, an axe, whatever. Um, so we're just going to have a little run around here. See what we've got. 
another bathroom here. It doesn't take long to clear out a, a, even a large bunker like this. You just got to sort of know where you're going. And we'll have another look down here as well. Back to the stairwell. A couple of stairwells in here. More than a couple, actually. Uh, we've got a control room. Okay, nothing in there. That's all good. I'm not actually hearing any puppets right now. Um, now, obviously, I've been playing this game a long time. So, obviously, I'm going to go in, you know, with a lot of confidence in doing this. Um, not everyone will. So, we can have a little look-see down here as well and see what we have. Surprised there's not many puppets down here. I think we've been down this area anyway, so it doesn't matter too much. But right now, I mean, look, we've we've pretty much cleared this whole place out. Um, and we've still got a load of arrows left. I know I picked some up along the way. And now you can just go and loot um, and pretty much just go and take what you need. There is still going to be a few puppets around somewhere. There's another one here. Just remember, if you go for the headshots... You're going to take them out pretty much instantly. But the juggernauts, the big mili military ones, the armoured ones, they're going to take three to the head. Okay? Now, if you use a spear or anything like that, it's going to take forever to be able to do anything like that. Now, I might do some more guides like this. I mean, they're just more off-the-cuff ideas that I want to throw out there just to, just to help new players a little bit more um, and even help some more experienced players because I know not everyone has the confidence to be able to sort of go into a bunker. Um, it is very dangerous. Now, I think a lot of you guys know um, that with these uh, with these uh, bunkers and stuff, on the outside, you can use the bushes to sort of become invisible from the mechs, so to speak. So mechs won't see you if you're in a bush. Just be careful if you get spotted, and then a mech will see you. Um, because if, if a mech sees you, then you go into a bush, there's a good chance that they probably still shoot where they last saw you. So... Um, so this is pretty much it, which now we've kind of taken out all the puppets in this area. Um, now you can get looting, get geared, and get out. Now, you will have a, a certain amount of time. That's different. Um, I'm not sure exactly what the single player time is because it's different on uh, private servers and stuff. So um, get looting and uh, get what you guys need. I hope you enjoyed this uh, and you sort of gain a little bit more confidence in being able to take a big bunker like this, you know, um, and, and get what you need from it. Uh, just be careful when they spawn in. Again, I'm going to reiterate that. Uh, I'm also going to reiterate that don't forget this is single player. This isn't on a multiplayer server. We would have rated this completely different. And it would have ta taken five times as long if we was solo. Because you never know who's going to be around. So now we've actually eliminated all of the puppets using a... 25 pound bow improvised bow that we've crafted from the outside and a few wooden arrows as well now we have all the loot to ourselves hopefully you've taken something away from that if not um then go and check out some other guides if you want to gain a bit more confidence from them first um and ladies and gents smash thumbs up and uh, if you haven't hit the subscribe button please do and i'll catch you guys in the next one take care